Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Home Bithik Trials. Today in this video we are going to have a quick look or a revision of respiratory system remedies asked in second year BHMS exam. We hope that this video would give you all a detailed understanding and also will help you to revise these remedies easily before exams. So without wasting much more time let's begin. But guys before beginning do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about our content. So the very first remedy which we are going to study today is Aram Trifalum. Aram Trifalum is a remedy belonging to the Aricaceae family with a common name of Indian turnip. When we have a look at the mental emotional aspect of Aram Trifalum, we see that these people are extremely cross and stubborn. Aram Trifalum as a remedy belongs to the typhoid miasm and Aricaceae family. Thus the main feeling in this remedy is of intense desperateness to get rid of the irritation which can be either physical or mental. This main feeling is the reason why these people are extremely irritable and upright. Also, these people are extremely concerned about their social position and are extremely dictatorial and fastidious. When we have a look at the action of this remedy in the physical sphere, we see that the Aram Trifalum acts really well on mucous membranes of nose, throat and larynx causing extreme irritation. Aram Trifalum is a wonderful remedy for coryza, especially when the discharges are fluent and when despite of the patient's nose, feels blocked and the patient has to breathe by mouth. The discharges of Aram Trifalum are raw and cause soreness and rawness of the nostrils. The irritation is so much that the patient constantly picks the nose or constantly keeps on boring his fingers in the sides of the nose until it bleeds. Aram Trifalum is also a wonderful remedy for throat and larynx where Aram Trifalum causes aphonia especially from overuse of voice that is where the patient loses his voice due to overuse of voice as in by shouting or singing loudly. The next remedy which we are going to study today is Spongia Tosta. So Spongia is a remedy which belongs to animal kingdom and is prepared from the roasted sponge. Now as we all know sponge is a mollusk belonging to the family Cylentrata. Thus the main feeling in these people is of extreme vulnerability or fear. Thus in these people we see various kinds of fear. One of the most important fear of Spongia is the fear of heart diseases associated with palpitation, uneasiness and discomfort in the region of the heart. These people are also of various undefined fears like fear of ghosts or monsters etc. Constitutionally, these patients are extremely reserved and they do not open up easily. Also, they don't like to talk much and prefer to be inactive and at rest. Spongia as a remedy is extremely important remedy which has a great action on respiratory system. Spongia as a remedy has a great action in cases of cough. The cough of spongia is dry which leads to hollow barking cough which resembles the characteristic sound of a saw driven into the pine board. This characteristic sound is due to extreme dryness of the respiratory passages. Spongia also acts really well in cases of suffocation as of from a plug which also wakes up the patient from the sleep. Spongia acts well in cases where the patient has some thyroid disorder along with breathlessness or a sense of suffocation. Few important confirmatory symptoms or the important physical generals of spongia are these patients are extremely chilly patients. The second can be these patients usually have a tubercular diathesis and many of the spongia patients usually have some or the other glandular enlargement. Next remedy is Ipecac. Now Ipecac is a remedy belonging to the Rubiaceae family and the Typhon Miasm. The main feeling of Rubiaceae family is a desire for constant stimulation while that of typhoid miasm is characterized by the desperateness and in instantness. Thus, when we see the main feeling of Ipecac, we see that Ipecac patients demand many things for instant stimulation. Thus, in the mental emotional sphere of Ipecac, we see a strong discontented feeling and impatient nature. Ipecac patients, when their desires are not fulfilled, start feeling they are extremely unfortunate. In the physical sphere, Ipecac as a remedy acts really nice on the respiratory system and on GI disturbances. The action of Ipecac on GI drag will be covered in some other video. Now when we talk about the action of Ipecac on respiratory system, Ipecac acts best in cases of asthma and pneumonia. Ipecac acts wonder in cases of pneumonia of infants where the chest of the infant is full of mucus with rapid wheezing. The most important characteristic is that despite the chest is full of phlegm, the patient cannot expect to rate it easily which leads to fine rattling cough. Now these patients also experience a suffocative cough with a lot of retching and nausea where the patient's face might turn blue due to cyanosis. Ipecac is a very good remedy for asthma where the patient experiences asthmatic attacks of violent character with lot of constriction of the throat. The next remedy which we are going to study now is Dalkamara. Dalkamara is a remedy belonging to the Solanaceae family. 
when we have a look at the mental emotional sphere of dalkamara we see that these people are extremely dominating and possessive these people are opinionated on everything and they insist that their opinion should be respected and followed and when this doesn't happen they feel unappreciated another important aspect in dalkamara's emotional sphere is their anxiety about others these people get anxious about their close people and especially about their health and this anxiety mostly comes out of great possessiveness about their close people also dalkamara patients are extremely quarrelsome and this is very nicely given by dr fatak where he says under the mind of dalkamara that these people can scold even without anger in the physical sphere dalkamara is an excellent remedy for respiratory complaints especially which are caused by exposure due to damp wet rainy weather which in turn causes profuse discharges from the various respiratory passages now dalkamara is mainly a catarrhal remedy which acts really well in cases where the patient has loose cough with profuse expectoration the cough mainly results from some irritation or tickling caused at the back of the throat the cough of dalkamara mostly gets aggravated in winter and by physical exertion expectoration is difficult and patient has to keep on coughing to expel the phlegm which is thick and yellowish the next remedy in line is drosera rotundifolia drosera also known as sundew belongs to the family of carnivorous plants in the emotional sphere the main theme of drosera is of being deceived persecuted or trapped these patients are also extremely short tempered where even a small irritation can get the patients into tremendous rage as there is a strong inner feeling of being harassed cheated or deceived these patients also are very suspicious and they fear of being alone but at the same time they are also suspicious about their friends now drosera patients are also extremely silent reserved and anxious there's always a feeling of inner weakness in drosera which makes them dependent but at the same time they feel that people take advantage of their dependence in the physical sphere drosera is a remedy which is known for its action in cases of whooping cough and various other respiratory complaints the cough of drosera is described by dr fatak as harassing cough which is brought on by sensation of feather in the throat the cough is hoarse barking deep sounding and spasmodic with lot of retching gagging and vomiting the cough is so violent that the patient's face turns purple or cyanotic due to violent constricting spasms of the throat drosera is also an important remedy for various respiratory complaints where the patient experiences sudden stitching pain in the chest along with the burning sensation patient has a feeling that something prevents him from talking or laughing with spasms in the chest and larynx causing difficult breathing and suffocation the cough of drosera is aggravated by singing talking laughing or lying down so this was all about respiratory remedies another important respiratory remedy which we have covered in the form of drug picture is antimonium tartaricum so guys please do watch this video the link to it is given in the i button and in the description box below so guys if you have liked this video do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about our